I am one with my mighty I am presence. My holy Christ self. My personalities. My body elemental. And my new spirit. Every part of my being is in balance, harmony, and alignment. I pull in my aura and I am fully contained within Metatron's cosmic egg. And I am now ready to receive Lord Metatron's message for today. And I would like to start today's session with the first of two questions from two different viewers, one from Indonesia and one from Canada. I have paraphrased the first question. She asks, we are told to watch life as if watching a movie, but how do we keep our inner state while we interact with others? Otherwise, I just reduce all conversations with people. This is an excellent question, and one which applies to most everybody. I am sure that most of you have seen that it is easiest for you to maintain your own inner state when you are alone, or when you are in nature, or when you are in the company of like-minded people. But when you go out into the world where people are very much into sharing their drama with you, it is much more difficult to regard what is transpiring as a movie. You tend to get sucked into it, believing that it's real. This is because you are feeling the emotions of the person that is telling you the story. You have opened up your own energy field to receive whatever it is that they are sharing, good or bad, painful or joyful. By your focusing on that person, focusing your attention and your listening, if you have not otherwise set up a protective field around you, then those fields become one. And you feel what the person is feeling as they are telling the story. So my advice to you would be the following. Before you even enter the room where you are going to be sharing stories with other people, whether you know them or not makes no difference. But before you go into the room, do the alignment that Christmas does at the beginning of each of these videos. Then pull in your auras and make absolutely sure that you are held within Metatron's cosmic egg. And then, while you are listening to the conversation, be focused on the egg. If you prefer a different protective shield, that does not matter. What matters is that you are enclosed within a protective shield that will keep the other person's mental and emotional energy from entering into you. 
while you are sitting inside of the shield be aware of it consciously keep reminding yourself throughout the conversation that whatever the person is sharing with you is their movie it is not yours it is not your reality and you do not need to accept it in any way whatsoever by focusing on the shield around you you will maintain your awareness within your own energy field it would also help at that time to be focused in the heart so that you are listening from a state of love and not from a state of judgment what you must begin to accept and understand is that your mind has much greater capabilities than you are aware of at this time you can in fact be focused upon many things simultaneously and part of your spiritual growth is beginning to expand your mind so that you are able to be focused for example in your heart on the protective shield around you and be able to listen and follow and participate in a conversation all at the same time it will take practice but it is the best advice I can give you in order for you to maintain your own inner state and still be able to participate in social interactions with other people I hope this has been helpful to you I will now read the second question A Canadian viewer has asked about the new spirit. Should people invoke the new spirit even if they don't have one yet? Another excellent question. My answer to you is yes. Do invoke it whether you are aware of having received this new spirit or not because this new spirit is in your energy field and is a part of your multi-dimensional being if you are doing these invocations then you are invoking your I am presence and your Holy Christ self whether you feel it or not whether you believe in it or not but every time you do that your I am presence and your Holy Christ self lowers their frequencies sufficiently to enter into your energy field this new spirit whose purpose it will be to bring into manifestation all of the different aspects of your being is lying in wait around you for the moment when your inner alignment and purification is sufficient to allow this spirit to come upon you so yes do invite this spirit in until you actually feel its birth within you so that is it for the two questions for today
And so I will now share with you about something else that is dear to the heart of all of you. Many of you are concerned about family and friends who are not following a spiritual path. You worry about them and are concerned for their well-being. I tell you to stop worrying and do not be concerned. For each and every human being is on his or her own perfect path. Each one is having the absolute perfect experiences they require to make their next steps. The best thing that you can do for them is to devote as much time and energy to your own spiritual path. Even if this means excusing yourself at times from parties, celebrations, or family gatherings in order to spend a few moments on your own doing your own spiritual work. When you return to the group in a centered, calm, and peaceful place, and they know that you have just excused yourself in order to do your meditation or your spiritual work, this will intrigue them. They will want to know what causes this peace and this well-being that emanates from you. Many of you think that when you have house guests that you need to entertain them and spend all your time with them. But if you are shunning your spiritual work in order to be available to other people then you are not bringing to them the best of who you are. So it is very important that no matter what else is going on in your life, whether you are on vacation or not, whether you are with other people or not, that your spiritual work is the most important thing that you have to do each and every day. It is only in this way that you will progress in a constant fashion and be able to truly assist those you love and those you are concerned about. As you progress in your spiritual path, you will, of necessity, become more light. Your light and love quotient will increase. As the light and the love within your being increases, so does your wisdom, so does your energy, and so does your ability to assist and inspire those you love. There will be those who will not understand why you give such great importance to your spiritual work. I tell you that they will understand one day and you must be patient and not 
expecting their understanding at this point. Just make the decision for yourself that your spiritual work is the most important thing that you have to do and that it is the absolute best way that you can help and assist those you love and care for. Aside from your own spiritual work, it is always good to see the light of God raining down upon those you love. As I have said before, when you simply surround them in God's light, without asking for anything in particular to take place, then you allow me and all of the light beings in heaven to bring forth whatever is the most perfect for that person at that particular time that you are sending them this energy. When you request for anything specific to be done, you limit the way I can use the energy. So please, beloveds, develop your trust in the fact that everything that is happening to everyone at this time is perfect. It is either the fulfilling of old karma or the closing of old doors so that new doors may be opened. It is both a process of completion and purification. The limited human mind cannot understand all the details of what is happening in each person's life. But God does as do all the angels and ascended masters that are working with all of humanity at this time. So trust that they know what is absolutely best for each and every person. Send your love and your light around that person to englobe them, to encompass them, and let God take over. Let God fill in the details and bring to that person whatever he or she needs in order to take their next steps along the path of ascension. I thank you for listening to these videos. I send all my light and my love around each and every one of you. And I look forward to our next sharing. I am Metatron.